Hey everybody, I hope you're doing well. Today, I'm gonna to be making a Bad Bunny line cut print. If you don't know who Bad Bunny is, no worries. Bad Bunny was 2020's most streamed artist on Spotify. I really like his music, and so I thought it would be a good idea to make a print of his artwork. So let's get into it. I'm starting off by going to one of his most recent music videos, Dakiti, and I'm looking for a scene that's inspiring me. And I really like this scene of this jet skiing lady. I like the free vibes. And while that prints out, I first have to get out my painting tarp and paint this nine by 12 inch linoleum block. I'm painting it so that when I transfer the image on, it'll stick to the paint. Now it's time to wash off my brush and pick up my image. Now I have to add the bottom part of the boat on because it's not in the video. Now I'm going to use graphite paper to transfer the image onto my linoleum block, but first I have to tape it all down. Now that I've finished transferring the image onto the block and it came out really well, I'm gonna move on to carving. And for carving this, I'm gonna start out by carving the boat and then I'm gonna go at the waves. I don't have a clear plan for the waves yet. So let's get into it. I'm using the smallest blade I have for the outline of the boat. Oh no, this little piece just will not come out. So I had to get my tweezers and pull it out like a surgeon. Let's go. Now that I've dealt with that, I wanna try out this new blade I just got. It kind of has a square look, and I'm excited to see how it'll look with this print. Do you notice anything? My hair, I finally got it cut. I know, it made some people sad, but now it's cut. Onto the print. I've been working on this a lot. I'm really happy with how it's coming out. It's been taking a long time because the water is all free form. I don't really have a plan. And I'm trying to make sure it looks consistent because it's important that the water looks like it's actually flowing out. I'm mostly done with it. I just need to really push through, get through the last bit of it, and then I'm gonna do the test print. Because there's still a large area of the jet ski that I don't know what I wanna do because for a lot of the black areas, I wanna show that it's not just like some blob on the paper, but I also need to keep it being black. So it's a hard balance. But let's get into it. I want to finish up tonight before it's my birthday, tomorrow. Now that I'm done carving, it's time to wash off the paint so I can do my test print. Now everybody, it's time to do the test print. Let's go. I'm using this cardboard piece so I can always ensure that the print will be in the middle of the paper. friendly so I'm going to use every last bit of ink in this tube. Now 
Now it's time to push extra hard so I get every last bit of ink on the paper. Ooh, it's looking nice. Okay, everybody, I'm really happy with how this test print came out. I know I always say I'm happy with it, but with this one, I was particularly worried because for a lot of the water, I've been going at it freestyle. I haven't really had a plan. And so I was worried that I'd take away too much. And thankfully, I didn't take away too much, which is good. But I still have to take out a lot more because I talked to my dad about this. And the, the image is a very rough water quality. And over here, the water looks very calm. So I think I need to go at that area with the small tool, or maybe the second to small, second to smallest carving tool over there to get that effect. In. in general, I'm happy with it, but I still have a ways to go with the carving. So let's get it back into it and get to carving. Okay, everyone, it is finally time to print this. You guys don't understand how excited I am to print this. It's been a while. It's been a long journey to get to this point. And at many times, I thought that it wasn't gonna come out. So let's print this. And I think for the first color, I'm gonna try to go for like an aquamarine, kind of like the color that they use in the music video for the water. So let's try to do that. Let's go for it. I'm using 11 by 14 inch paper for this print. I'm gonna be mixing a lot of colors together today to kind of get that turquoise watercolor from the video. And I'm starting off by mixing my blue with a neon green and I always add a little bit of white and black so it gives the colors a little bit of a matte look. Okay, everybody, we are done with the print. The color that I was going for that I got already in the print I made last night was sort of a blue inspired from the tones in the video. And I think I'm gonna try to get maybe some orange, light orange tones. And you can check those out on my Instagram later and also maybe on my TikTok. But thank you guys so much for staying this part of the video and more videos will be coming out soon. Bye, everybody.